Hey, what's up? Outlander here. Playing some Lord of the Rings Return of the King on the Xbox. Running through the Palantir of Sauron. Some hard, hard shit in gaming. Some real big boy stuff. Uh, it's definitely not easy. I'm playing as Aragorn. Uh, I'm playing with the same guy that I played with for my Saruman video. He's playing as Gandalf, obviously. And uh, we do a full clear all the way through without using any cheat codes. We beat it legit. And like I said, it is not easy. We got a pretty decent strategy that I've worked out. and I'm going to point out some key things in case anyone out there is crazy enough to <laughs> try and attempt this for themselves just for the hell of it, for the, for the gaming achievement of having beaten it without using the cheats. So uh, these first few waves, kind of just mopping them up, spamming Swift Justice. He burned his cool down there just for the hell of it because really, I mean, there's no reason not to. It's going to be cooled down by the time we need it anyway. So we both just uh, just continue mopping everybody up here, getting through these first few waves. Then uh, you got waves four to six. You got archers. After that, we got some shield guys. But uh, pretty much the whole plan that we use to to get through this it all revolves around the use of Gandalf's cooldown and finding ways to to being able to to use it as much as possible and and in the in the best situations. And other than that, uh, we use Aragorn's. Y attack where you hold down Y and does sort of an area of effect on everybody and can break shields. And those are our two two main strategies for this for our plan. As I said, four to six here we got some archers, just get through this as best you can. Take your time. Pretty much your main goal is to get to wave 16 with as much health as possible. That's your golden uh, wave, wave 16, because that's when you start fighting against people who drop health packs or health potions, so you're able to replenish your health. Yeah, I mean, even if you've taken a good bit of damage, as long as you can drag your self to wave 16, you're going to get healed up and probably have full health again, if not really close to it. So just try and take minimal damage, get your way through it. It's going to take you a while anyway, using this strategy. I'll fast forward at certain points where we're just kind of waiting on the cooldown, but it, it does take a while. It's really frustrating when you, when you die too, because obviously you got to start from the beginning, but then having to wait all this time in between on the cooldown. That's why these Palantirs are fucking hard, though. That's what it's all about. Right here, we kind of mess up. We always trying to let him get those arrows there, but I'm also blocking that archer. We left him alive just so his cooldown could uh, finish ticking off there. And uh, the items in this game, they're really... You can pick them up from when you're trying not to, and you're trying to avoid him, you'll still get him. I grabbed mine, and I was waiting on him to grab his, and when that arrow hit me, it kind of nudged me just a little bit. Just one pixel over. I ended up stealing his arrows, but it's no biggie. And here's our first wave of shield dudes, as you can see. I step up and just a touch and use that Y move just to buy him just a split second to cast his, his uh, L and R, his cooldown there. We burn it on waves on wave seven here because uh, these orc guys they run really fast and they st it seems like they start a little closer than the easterling guys that you'll see here on the next wave. I think is what they're called. These dudes here. See how slow and how long it takes. He's able to grab the health and run back. He could have cast his cooldown twice. So the other guys are a lot more aggressive, a lot more dangerous. As you can see, a few Y attacks, you get the hang of doing that, and you can 
sweep all their shields away. There's a few guys that come running for the second wave, but easily Helm's hammered and dealt with. And just mop up the stragglers. If you can get yourself a Bane at the end and get yourself some perfect mode that'll carry over to the next round, that's always it's always good. Wave 9, I always do the Y attack towards the right side first, because again, it's those orcs, and they're a little faster. So, punish them real quick, and then turn left, hit the other guys, and then just sweep across as as the battle unfolds. As you can see, uh, my buddy playing Gandalf, he just kind of picks his spots. He's blocking a lot of the time. He's taking a little bit of damage here, but still, that's because he's going for... Helm's hammer is when he, when he thinks he can. Sometimes you end up taking damage. Don't get discouraged if you end up taking damage a little bit on these on this pulls here, 7 through 9, with the shield guys, because they're kind of difficult. And like I said, you're just trying to get to wave 16, and you will be healed up. So as you can see, he runs right for the health. He's right back to green. We're good to go. Wave 10 is just get the melee down. I mean, don't ignore the arrows totally, but if as long as you're uh, meleeing, attacking it counts almost as if you're blocking like as if you see here we're trying to rush to conserve on arrows and also because these archers they drop uh, arrows as you can see there and also health packs occasionally not always but if you shoot them you won't have the chance to pick those up so we actually rush these guys here and I'm not even really blocking as I mean at certain times I will but when I'm close to them I just start spamming a swift justice and it it'll parry just as well as blocking as you can see we leave one here so I just kind of stay there, spam block. The archers will always attack who's uh, closest to them. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. It's a good way to cover each other. Wave, ele wave 11, this is pretty important here. Um, it's a pretty easy wave. Nobody has shields, but you, a good strategy is to rush forward, start immediately DPSing or damaging those uh, archers right there in the middle. Because if you let them get comfy, you'll start taking damage. And this is also an interesting thing I wanted to point out. We were planning on leaving that archer to let his cooldown cool off, but we realized, oh, it's, it's already cooled down, so we're good to go. But that archer was pretty snug on the wall there, and he was able to actually shoot through the pillar. So that's something to keep in mind. This here is pretty much the hardest wave in the whole... Palantir, in my opinion, it's one of them at least, besides the last wave. If he doesn't get that cooldown off right there, if I don't buy him enough time with that Y attack, and just if anybody gets past and hits him, it, it's really tough. You can take a lot of damage here. You can die really quickly here. Those guys start really close to you. They're really quick moving. They have, they all have shields. There's archers. Wave 12 is fucking no joke. And right here, I'll speed it up because we're just kind of standing there waiting on the cooldown and this is what I was talking about a second ago before this wave as you can see this archer is way back there so he's not able to to penetrate this little uh, building thing that we're hiding behind here in the middle but the other one that we were going to leave he was like right next to it so he was able to shoot through it so if you're gonna leave an archer to do this to let your cooldown come back around, make sure he's got a good bit of distance between him and the object you're trying to hide behind. Again, we're rushing the guy, just hoping for a health pack or some arrows to drop. Wave 13 is pretty easy as long as you keep Gandalf covered. He almost doesn't even need it because again it's those Easterlings that are really slow moving. Just let him go to work with that shield. Break break all their shields. And it's a good idea to to weed the archers out to the right. It's a good idea to keep uh, pushing right in mind. You always want to want to push right because uh, always there's always more danger coming from the right side like on uh, when those on wave 7 through 9, the orc guys, they come from the right, the cave trolls. You just always want to be on the same page with your partner. Just establish 
you know, either right or left as a way of, of going, as like an oh shit direction. And just right is the better way to choose when it comes to doing this Palantir. An oh shit direction. Yeah, it's always good to have that. <laughs> that cool down come back around again getting really close to wave 16 now so you don't want to take any chances this is this is the strategy right here this is how we do it And again here, wave 14, a few shield guys. Use that Y attack to buy some time, get the cooldown off. And without shields, the guys are, are no problem. Clean out the archers to the right. Ah, oh, he's got an awesome... Warrior Bane, Aragorn does. That's pretty. Plenty of distance, and then we tuck over here behind the pillar. And again, just let that cooldown come back around. Rinse, repeat, as we say. This is just using the game, it's using line of sight. You're able to hide behind this building for a reason. This is... I mean, they put it in here for a reason. This is what I think it's for. <laughs> I mean, call it cheap or whatever you want, but I mean, fuck, it works, and it's a way to beat it without using cheat codes, using just what is programmed in the game. No drops but we're really close to wave 16, just one away. Another easy wave. Bunch of Easterlings and just some regular melee. And this is actually another thing about this wave, now that I'm noticing. Wave 15 will... 9 times out of 10, there'll be a bunch of arrows that drop. So you can kind of bank on that and use your arrows a little bit. We're always really careful with our arrows. As you'll see, Gandalf, he'll never do his Y attack. Because it costs 10 arrows. It's just not worth it. His arrows hit really hard. And it's just, it's better to have your arrows. But when you know you're getting a bunch on wave 15, you can always shoot a little more than you would. But you definitely want to save your arrows after this, because you need them to kill the cave trolls that are going to be in the later waves. Gandalf has to have arrows. Because those cave trolls got to go down. Alright, wave 16. And uh, the thing about this wave, it looks a lot scarier than it actually is. These guys are really easy. They have no armor whatsoever. You don't have to hit Y to attack them. You don't have to do your power attack. You can just spam A, just do swift justices, lay right into them, and get your health packs. And what I'm doing here is some kind of like... Uh, what's called tanking. I'm tanking this guy in the bottom right hand corner just to buy a little more time as my buddy gets the killing blow on that guy and gets the health pack. And this way it's just another way of it's just like hiding behind the pole from the archer. It's just another way of buying some time. This is it's just using mechanics in the game. His cooldown comes off, we kill the guy. Next wave. This is a pretty hard wave, wave 17. This is no bullshit. These guys do have armor. They take a couple hits to, to get their armor off, but that's why we save the cooldown for this wave. The shield itself doesn't really do shit to their armor. 
but he's spamming Helm's hammer the entire time he's in there, and I'm trying to pull off my uh, my hold down Y attack to get Y attacks on him. And as you can see, pretty much right when he comes out of that shield, they're all fucked up really bad, and it's just a matter of mopping them up. And that makes that that's a really hard wave, but if you do it that way, it, it's actually pretty easy. And right here we do a little bit of the same thing. He's going to hold that guy over there. He's going to tank him. Try and choose a guy who has uh, a decent bit of health. You want actually to, to tank one of the guys who has more health. Because you can actually do a switch once your, your thumb starts getting tired. Because you have to keep pressing X this whole time. He's just spamming X, 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 X. So I think I let his cooldown get like halfway. And then, yeah, right here I just come up. Score one melee hit, and he pulls right onto me. The last person that hits him is what he'll be, he'll have aggro on. He'll be focused on you. And then as long as my buddy stays away, he won't get hit, because uh, just be careful of that. These guys do like a sweeping attack. So, as you, if you see where he's standing right now, where Gandalf is, that's where you want to go. Just go up by that pillar if you're going to put your controller down and stretch your hands or something like that, or... You'll take some unnecessary damage that'll, that's not needed at this far in the game here. This is where you want to really start being careful. And here's our first cave troll. And as you can see right off the bat, he pushes to the right. I'm trying to round up and keep as many of those guys focused on me as I can. While he worms his way over to the right, his priority is just put as many fucking arrows into that cave troll as he can. No matter what he has to do, put arrows in that fucking thing. And then you saw how quick it dropped. It took him like one or two shots to put that thing down. And then this wave is... It's a matter of uh, what we do is... Those orcs, the orcs don't have any armor. You can lay into them with just by pressing A. So we take them out first, and then we focus on the Easterlings after that. And a good little side strategy to kind of try and do is... If you can lay into one of the orcs and get, you know, two, three hits on him, and your swift justice is about to go off, if you can time it just right, and the last little move of your swift justice is like a power hit, that'll actually, uh, like, break armor. And it's something to, to think about if you can score, like, three hits into one of the orcs and then just turn and spin around and hit a guy who has a bunch of armor and get a free hit. It works. It may sound difficult, but it actually does work once you try doing it. And here we go, wave 19. Same thing, kind of, just the other way. As you can see, worm your way to the left. This is the one wave where you may want to push left. He gets stuck a little bit there, but... As you can see, he just... No matter what the fuck you have to do, get that cave troll down. That is priority. That thing has to go down. Or else, it's... I mean... He just, he has to fucking go down, that's what has to happen, or you're probably gonna fail. He hits way too hard, he does a knockdown. As soon as you get back up, you'll be getting hit again. Your partner's gonna run over and try and save your ass, and just, he's gonna get killed too, and, and that's it. You do have one extra life, as you can see, we have the one in the middle there. But, I mean, you really wanna save that, because shit can hit the fan really quick. You wanna conserve as never, never give up. You wanna conserve as much as you can. As you can see, same strategy, just hit the guys that are weak. And just try and score that swift justice, and if not, just weed them down one by one. Just one by one, take it nice and slow. And here it is, wave 20. This wave is no fucking joke. Two cave trolls pop up pretty much right in your face. Uh, Gandalf, just get as many shots on him as you can. Just pretty much spam fire. Take him the fuck down. Cave trolls gotta go down. That's what has to happen pretty much right off the bat. And then you work your way from there. Just picking off whoever's weak. There's not much to say about it other than just, you know, focus on the guys who you can hit. As you can see, there's archers shooting at you, there's there's guys with the armor, you just have to hack down who you can. Everybody drops a health pack, it's the one little confidence booster that you have during all this. As you can see, that was a close call for me there. I got myself the fuck out of the, the mosh pit in the middle and found some health, and here again, 
Uh, I was freaking out at this point. I really thought I was about to drop and we were going to have to do it all again. Just keep spamming block in this situation. Just block, 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 block. Don't, don't give up. I mean... This is about as bad as it gets right here. <laughs> we're both flashing with like one hit of health. This was like our third attempt too from... We haven't played since uh... I pretty much around the time when I put up my Saruman video. And right here I'm just trying my damnedest to just kill whoever I can and try to get him a health pack. I kept trying to kill somebody near him and then not get the health pack. But I think I literally pick up every single health pack from here on out to the end of it. And he just sits there and, and just blocks and stays alive the, in, the entire time. It's pretty fucking epic, actually. It's crazy. Because, I mean, I mean, like I said, we, I mean, we, we can serve the fuck out of everything. He could just technically, you know, take a hit for free, die, and have a full health bar. But, I mean, why? why? I mean, just stretch it. We, I mean, we save that, you know? And even though he's not doing any damage right now, anything that's attacking him, obviously, isn't attacking me. So, just him being there still fucking matters. These guys are fucking probably the most bitch-ass enemies in the game. It's funny, the Easterlings with shields are such little pussies, but the guys with armor, these dual-wielding guys are fucking no joke, and with the archers, fucking shooting at your back the whole time. Son of a bitch of a wave. Get those guys down, it's just a matter of taking out the little bitch boy archers that are left. It's almost uneventful if you when it comes down to that. And there you have it. Palantir Sauron. Full clear. This maybe will help somebody out who who was wanting to clear this or who maybe thought that it couldn't be done because there's Apparently some people out there who think this is an impossible feat, and it's definitely pretty damn hard, but obviously as you can see here, it is possible to do. You just gotta, you know, think outside the box a little bit and use some strategy to it, but it's definitely possible, so. If you have the inkling to do some crazy shit in gaming, give this a shot, bust out your old Xbox, and play some Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, hope it helped. Outlander GG. Stop by the channel. Peace.